In the last 40 years, there's been a great deal of research and effort devoted to understanding leadership in the human society. And we have many good research efforts that have been produced, lots of, of uh, literature. In fact, you can go in any bookstore and find rows and rows of shelves on literature, on uh, ideas that people have about the best ways to, to lead other people. What I'd like for you all to think, focus on right now is that no matter what style of leadership or what trait of leadership or what method of uh, leadership one tries to use, there are three elements that are really important in leadership. They are the three common elements of leadership. And if you'll see on the chart, there's the self, the context, and the others. And I'd like for us to talk just a little bit about those and identify those because any leader needs to be very much aware of those three elements as he or she tries to begin a leadership thing. Let's look at the self first. The self, of course, refers to the leader herself or himself and the individual who either aspires to or is perhaps elevated into a position of leadership. And we have spent a great deal of research on trying to figure out what a leader needs to do. We know now that leadership can be learned, that it's not an inherent characteristic, but it can be learned. So what does a leader need to do to improve her or his leadership skills? And there are lots of, lots of literature about that and what the leader needs to do. It's important for the leader to realize that her skills or his skills or traits or characteristics will depend on many other things. And the other things that these uh, traits depend on the success, for success include the context and the others. Let's go now to the context. I think this is an area perhaps that we have neglected to review as much as we need to because it's highly important. If you look around us in society today and think about the areas of leadership that are available to us, the context varies greatly. Perhaps you might be a business leader that's a CEO of a multinational corporation. Think of the various contexts in which your organization works. Maybe you work for an organization and you are assuming the leadership of a task force or a committee. Think about the context in which that effect takes place and the efforts that you have to make along with others to understand what's important in the context that is always changing. Maybe the context that you're working in is political. Goodness knows that changes frequently as we see in, in our society all the time. Maybe it's a religious uh, context in which you're, you're trying to lead a, a religious group, a church group. If that's the case, think about the history and the tradition of that religion, which is so deeply embedded in the hearts and minds of the followers and how important that is for you in, as you lead through that. Maybe it's family. You know, leadership takes place everywhere. If you're the leader in a family, Look at the aspects of family life and family tradition that you hold dear and that members of the family hold dear and how you deal with those because the context is so important. Okay, let's look at the third aspect of leadership and that's the others. Sometimes we call those followers, but that's not a real popular term anymore because the new ideas of leadership suggests that the leader works with others to create leadership, a joint leadership or a merged leadership, and that the other people actually participate in the leadership development. So we'll call them others. But think how important the others are. The others are, without, well, we know without followers or without others, there aren't any leadership. You can't lead if you don't have anybody following you. So these people uh, or these groups are extremely important particularly because they are likely to change more rapidly than any in the other aspects are. People get tired or angry or bored or interested in something else and move in and out of the context whenever they choose to, pretty much. So the leader has to be very careful to understand what these people are, who they are, and what they want or what they need. It's also interesting to think that the leader has to be in a position to not only understand what the, the followers or the others think they want or need, but he or she needs to have a broader vision to see what's coming in the future and have a better idea of what they will need or they will want in the future that perhaps they don't even, are, are not in a position to understand. 
If we look at those three elements, think about how they overlap in the center, the self, the context, and the others, all in this diagram overlap, and that's where leadership takes place. It's really interesting to note that each of these elements is much larger in the whole than they are in that particular area of overlap, but that's where leadership takes place. This means that each of these elements, the self, the other, and the context, can move in and out. And sometimes they become more or less important. It doesn't show in this diagram, but if you could see this moving, you'd see it sometimes the context takes a greater influence than the others do. And then sometimes it moves out and may be less important. Again, this is something that the leader has to understand and recognize and be able to deal with. Some people say that uh, the most important thing for a leader is to understand his or her own strengths and weaknesses for leading in a context. And there are many scales or assessments or surveys that we can take to try to determine, to understand what our skills are, our strengths and weaknesses are in leadership skills. Uh, some of uh, these, say, these uh, people decide that it's more important for a leader to focus on his or her strengths and not try to improve in the weakness area because it would be more beneficial to find somebody who is already strong in those areas and bring them in and work with them to cover that area. Other people say that uh, we need to focus on our weaknesses and try to bring them up so we'll be good at everything. So that's a choice that's, that a leader has to make and decide what they want to do. <clears throat> As we think about this, you can see, we can see that leadership is not easy. It's not simple. As Jack Ma has said, if you want your life to be easy, don't be a leader. But it's a lot of fun and very exciting, and we all benefit from being around good leaders.